Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and there's a few things we got to talk about in this video, this latest Moon Lambo hot jam, including this. XRP, it's looking like potentially it, uh, it, it, it could be behaving a bit like, uh, like we saw in 2017, which, by the way, uh, I would not mind the least. I know what I hate. And I would not hate that. XRP, in a matter of, uh, you know, roughly two and a half weeks, went from 20-something cents to almost four dollars. I'm going to share with you a few opinions from analysts uh, that I follow, speaking today directly about XRP. Also, looks like Bitcoin, according to many analysts that I follow, in fact, uh, the, the majority of them, they think that Bitcoin in sh like super short order, perhaps even by the time you're watching this damn moon, that ball, oh, to jam, perhaps Bitcoin... Uh, in all likelihood, will be breaking past its previous all-time high. And if that happens, uh, we're probably looking at an up, upward uh, continuation. Doesn't mean it's going to rocket to seventy or $80,000 in short order, but in terms of the leg down that we've been potentially, you know, eyeing, uh, you know, you, you're probably not going to anytime soon see a $38,000 Bitcoin. If, if indeed this happens, and if the analysts that, uh, that we're following here are, are correct. And has anybody been paying attention to the freaking Spark Token IOU? It hit over 81 cents today. It's all over the damn place. Spark Token, you gotta be out your goddamn mind. Lots to talk about here, but if you would please uh, ever so delicately tap the like button, I would definitely appreciate the support and consider subscribing to the Moon Lambo channel if you've not yet done so. I promise that if you do, you might not regret it. Might not. Also, I do want to be clear that I am um, not a financial advisor, no financial background of any kind, in fact. I, uh, I I don't want you to buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a horrendous idea. Don't be a hashtag idiot stick. You're smarter than that. I know you are. You put your shirt on in the morning by yourself, and you wear the tying kind of shoes instead of the Velcro shoes like the Bitcoin maxi trolls wear. As I record this, XRP's at 46.3 cents, Bitcoin at $56,986. And let's see what the hell the Spark token's at now. It's all over the place. Uh, let this update. Uh, here, I'm going to hit refresh just to make sure it's been... Oh, but did you see that? It just... <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm not even sorry. It's just fascinating. So I just... I was looking at... Uh, before I hit record, I was watching the Spark token. It was it was over 81 cents. Then a moment later, it went down to 71 cents. Then it went back up to over 78 cents. This is all inside of like, you know, a minute or something like that. And then, so then I moved away from the screen before hitting record. And you could see before my, before my computer refreshed, it was at that 78 cent level. And then now it's at 69 cents. It's just all over the damn place. I'm still, I'm just going to hit refresh on this mofo. Take a look at this 24 hour chart though. Like <laughs> Spark Token, it just, it don't care what the hell the rest of the market's doing. It's just, it's trading sideways forever. It's trading sideways forever, trading sideways ever, trading sideways forever. And then it rocks up like, I don't care, I'll do what I want up here. And look, it just rockets. It's been all over the damn place. Now, part of the reason that you're seeing volatility to this level is because, just to be clear, this is one market. There are two, So there are two Spark token markets on the planet. Uh, one is Poloniex, one is BitTrue. This is the BitTrue market. That's all that it is. And uh, and there's such, there's such little liquidity, it takes nothing to see this type of ridiculous uh, upward price momentum and then crashes back down. It's just tremendous. And so it just makes you wonder what the hell uh, it, the price action is going to be once the real thing actually finally comes out. Uh, it, but you know what? Look, as long as it's more than zero, I'm not going to complain because, uh, hey, you know, free money. Here's a tweet from Credible Crypto. Check this out. No one cared about HBAR, for those of you not in the know, that's a newer cryptocurrency. Nobody cared about HBAR when it was trading sideways at three cents after a clean impulse. No one cares about XRP while it is trading sideways at 40 cents after a clean impulse. HBAR is now 10x from where it was then. Consolidation precedes expansion. XRP's time will come. And he keeps really hitting on this point, which to me makes a ton of sense. And he's not the only one that highlights this, but he does it with a certain amount of regular, uh, regularity, which I, I personally appreciate. I, I've, I've joked in the past that historically XRP has been like a kink toes and that it trades sideways for so long. It's as if somebody kinks the hose and no water's coming out of this particular hose, but then somebody loosens it. The kink is gone and it just like squirts a bunch of water out in XRP. So if it's an XRP hose, it's kinked 
And eventually, when this thing takes off, when we've had those moments, it just the, the XRP hose, it just squirts out a ton of XRP all at once. That's basically what it is. And that's what you saw in mid-December 2017. And uh, <laughs> I'll not be surprised if we see something very similar in short order uh, with XRP as well. And, um, and so somebody asked Credible Crypto, <clears throat> you know, uh, he wrote, I get it, but what, what's your recommendation from a return perspective? Move some uh, for XRP, some about HBAR, move some for XRP or HODL HBAR to 2 to $3 as you predicted earlier. Again, sincerely appreciate your efforts. I'm just a free rider. So the question is, what's going to provide better returns, HBAR or XRP? Credible Crypto responded with the following. I like HBAR personally, but from current levels, I think XRP has a higher return on investment potential. That being said, also more risk because the because uh, of the SEC uncertainty, so it's a delicate balance. So there you go. Uh, and you know what he's saying about XRP. He he fully anticipates uh, minimum. I reported on this just the other day. He, minimum ten dollar XRP this market cycle. Um, and then uh, realistically, he thinks it's more likely to go, I think the level he said was 20 to $30 per XRP. And, and mind you, he's been saying, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but I'm pretty sure he's been saying he expects this market cycle to go like six to nine months longer. So basically, this calendar year. Hell, I've waited this long. I've been around since November 2017. What's another six to nine months? Whatever. Although I do hope, guys, just on a side note before I continue, I do hope that uh, once this, this market cycle hits bear territory, which it will, you know, we're going to see massive retracements, people going to be flipping out. I hope that you all still want to hang out with me because I'm not going to be leaving the world of crypto. I'm going to keep running this as Moon Lambo channel with a silly ass name because it's too fun and too interesting to track. And I'll watch, I'll, I'll, I'll watch, I'm telling you, the market's going to tank and it'll get down to a certain level. I will begin dollar cost averaging in again when I think it starts to make sense. And then it's good. We're going to be in a bear market for another few years. And then things are going to pop off again like crazy. So if you guys want to go through another market cycle, just know that Moon Lambo is here to be with you. And especially if you need your soul to be soothed as we tank 80 to 90% once we hit the all time high, which I suspect will happen. Uh, it's never guaranteed, but, you know, I suspect it will happen. Historically, it has. Uh, I will be here to soothe your weary soul. So if you want to just hang out with me, I don't know. I'm not going to be... Look, I started this channel at the bottom of the bear market, uh, mid-December 2018, which was just coincidental. Um, I, I have a blast even during the bear time, so I'm not going to be one of those guys that's only here when it's good. I'm just going to keep running this channel because it's too fun of a hobby, too interesting to track. And uh, in the world of crypto, frankly, there's just too much financial opportunity for me to take my eye off the ball. I'm not going to stop. Hell no. Um, here's another tweet from Credible Crypto because somebody wrote, XRP is traded sideways um, since, uh, since 2018, if we're being honest. Credible Crypto responded to that and hammering home this very important point. Listen up. He writes, this is pretty much true, LOL, which is why I suspect when it does start the next impulse, it will be far more aggressive than most are expecting. The greater the consolidation, the greater the expansion. Yes, indeed, the same thing I've been saying for years. I have a silly, stupid, uh, you know, way to, to look at it with the XRP hose, young kink and a bunch of XRP squirts out fine, but it's just, it holds for so long. It trades sideways for so long, but when it goes, it goes. And so this idea, it's, it's certainly true, I think, arguably, for any cryptocurrency, but XRP trades sideways historically longer than other cryptocurrencies. So it has a time for an opportunity for like when it burst. That's why so many people didn't see 2017 coming, mid-December 2017, when it went from 20-something cents to almost $4. The Bitcoin maxi trolls, they were in utter disbelief. You know, so many of them said, oh gosh, it, you know, XRP, it's it's never going to hit 10 cents. They used to say that many, many years ago. It broke through that. They said, oh, it's never going to hit a dollar. It broke through that, ended up hitting almost $4. And now they're, now they're still saying, oh, it's never going to rally again. We'll never see $10. Thought, okay, all right. You, know, you, keep, you keep on with your jibber jabber. But uh, I think that uh, what you, I, you, basically your perspective is going to age like a fine milk. It's going to age like a fine, fine milk. DIY Investing has the same perspective here. Another very popular analyst it wrote, XRP stayed the same price for the same amount of time in the last cycle. It was the laggard in the last cycle too. Nothing is out of place in my opinion. And I feel exactly the same. He's echoing the same sentiment of, uh, of, uh, of Credible Crypto. And I've been saying the same thing forever. It just is the case. I've been aware of this for multiple years at this point. Credible Crypto also wrote the following. So what, what can we expect in the short term? Okay, Bitcoin... 
going to break up? Is it not going to break up? We're pretty close to a point where we're going to get some clarity on this. He wrote the following. The all-time high on Bitcoin is about to be breached. And uh, he wrote this, by the way, I should, time, timing kind of matters here. So he wrote this at 4.43 p.m. Uh, March 11th, which is the day that I'm recording this. As I record this video now, it is 10.02 p.m. on March 11th, 2021. So a number of hours later, but uh, here you go. The, it's still true. The all-time high on Bitcoin is about to be breached in validating my primary bearish count. However, clear bearish divergence on the D, D3, and weekly time frame suggests bulls are losing momentum. Not adding longs at the moment, still cautious. So we'll see what happens. And that thinking seems to be in line with uh, others, including Blockchain Backer, which I'll get to in, uh, in just a second here. But uh, first, I wanted to highlight this. Here's a video put up by High Altitude Investing titled, XRP will shock the masses, don't give up now. And it's just echoing the same, well, many of the same sentiments anyway. It's it, certainly the idea of consolidation is, it's, undeniably true the, the degree to which this is matter this, this matters and he was citing among other things in his video that xrp yeah it's going to shock the masses They're, they never expect this but when you've got historical indicating that it shocks again and again like what kind of like do you have the memory of a goldfish like eight seconds after you learn something it's just like psh, out the brain because it's like what are these like look historically at how this and you think it's going to be different especially at this nascent stage of the asset class i personally don't think think so you know and i get it investing in xrp and crypto yeah i always happen to acknowledge it's risky and i understand if i'm wrong about the direction i think and hope things will go i could lose everything i have and whatever you're investing in crypto, if, if you have at this point, you, you should recognize you could too. Um, now, for me, though, I, I will say it doesn't change my conviction. I still want exposure to this highly risky asset class. But um, I just I, I feel super confident in what's going on. Or I just see the way humans behave. And uh, that helps a lot because they're behaving like monetary idiots. And so uh, here's a tweet from Blockchain Backer. Insanely similar in structure for Bitcoin price chart as altcoin market awaits next leg up. And it was interesting. He started delving into this concept within the last day or two, and he really hammered uh, a bit on it in his, his video today. He's, he's saying, look, he's still his bet on Bitcoin, it's still that it's going to go to you know, that $70,000, $80,000 range that he keeps talking about. But he's, he's seen something in the charts that indicates, and if you want all the the, the, the TA details, then go ahead and check out his video. But uh, the, he's, he's seen something that indicates that it could go up to more like, Bitcoin could go up to like the $200,000 range. Now, if that happens... You know, that would be more in line with what the charts looked like in 2017. And if that happens, holy hell. Like, what's that going to mean? What would that mean for XRP? Yeah, you Because know, if that's the case, this idea of, you know, only 10 to $13, it just makes me curious. Like, what would we actually see? Because that's that's his, that's still his target. He even said today, you know, 10 to $13 for XRP. But if the charts are beginning to look more like 2017 and more and more money's flowing in, uh, in, ter of where it's, in terms of where it's going to top off, it's it's going to make 2017 just look like a joke if the chart structure is the same. Um, and so here's another popular chart analyst, Michael Vendepup, who wrote, it seems like we're going to have a new all-time high for Bitcoin. And so that's what he tweeted out to his 154,000 followers. And here's another popular chart analyst who has on Twitter 118,000 followers and wrote, Bitcoin looks good. Anyone up for $60,000? Hell, I'm up for it, I guess. I mean, I'd still rather see that leg down, which it looks like it increasingly will not come. But if it does come, oh my gosh, I will go on a crypto buying spree yet again. Please give me $38,000 Bitcoin. I, I, I mean, not that I'm going to buy Bitcoin. <laughs> no, no, no. It's gone through most of its pump for this cycle, probably. I suspect. We'll see. Um, no, there's all sorts of other coins that have given the opportunity another dip. Yeah, I've got more money on the sidelines. And if not, I've made peace with that. I've I've had years to accumulate and I've done my thing. And I, th I think it's probably going to turn out just fine for me. And it's going to be messy on the way up and the way down because you can't perfectly time tops and bottoms of markets. And I'm not going to beat myself up for that. I never will. But uh, there's there's going to be more opportunity in life moving forward. Once this this uh, this when we hit the top for this market cycle and we see a major retracement, which if history repeats itself, will be 80 to 90%. If that happens, uh, I'm just, again, going to be dollar cost averaging in on the way down at some point yet to be determined. I'll be happy to share with you when I start doing that. But uh, I'm, I'm going to do the whole thing over again. Because there's, it's still, even even though I, I'm not going to get into in this video the reasons why, but even though it is true that with each uh, subsequent market cycle, the multiplier effect in terms of opportunity for the, the asset class as a whole, the multiplier effect is diminished with the... Uh, 
each uh, with each cycle, even though that's the case, I still think that this will be the asset class with the most potential for monetary returns compared to anything else, even through the next cycle. And uh, it, it really, it does, again, not going to go into detail here, but it really does have to do, in large part, just this idea that there's there's not that much money in the asset class. So it, it doesn't take much money flowing into many of these coins, uh, you know, even the large cap coins, there's not much money. And it doesn't take much money flowing in to get tremendous multiplier effects. And I still think you're going to be seeing a lot of that next market cycle. It'll be interesting to see if we'll finally be at a point, though, during the next market cycle, uh, where we're maturing to a point where fundamentals actually matter. Will they matter? Because uh, this, this market cycle, they don't. Last market cycle, they didn't. Every market cycle so far in the history of crypto, they have not. Will next one finally be the time? Uh, I don't know. My answer at this point would be maybe, question mark. We shall see. What a fun ride we have, though. This is exciting here. I can't wait to see how the rest of 2021 unfold. So I hope you guys are having a good time out there. I hope you're making uh, wise, informed uh, you know, investment decisions and not buying based on emotion. You know, I'll tell you, buying uh, and selling with, uh, you know, just based on what you're feeling in the moment, you're going to have a bad day. You're going to get wrecked. R-E-K-T, wrecked. I'll wrap up there, though. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.